Hey guys, welcome back to the episode of Surviving Life with Your Girl Tiana Woods. Today's episode is going to be about the power of silence, cheating, and the gift of being the one who got away. So if you're ready to hop into this discussion, let's hop right into this video. forgot to mention if you're new here please like share and subscribe all right so now let's have this video let's have, let's have this video let's have this talk but the hair eating yet yeah, let's have this talk now so we're going to talk about the power of sign actually no let's go to cheating first cheating because cheating leads up to all those other talk topics so let's talk about cheating first so um i'm a firm believer that if you cheat then you're the problem now check me out now as women, we tend to feel like we're the issue. What is wrong with me? Is there something that's missing? Honey, if you're the one that's cheating, then there's something that's missing. If you have to cheat, something is wrong within you. Nothing is wrong with the person that you're with. Something's just wrong with you, blatantly. And you just have to accept the fact that you are the fucking issue. You are the issue because what? what's the reason for cheating? What is your reason for cheating? Um, for the men perspective, you don't know how to control yourself. You don't know how to set boundaries. You're not disciplined enough to know not to do certain things. Because honestly, when someone cheats, it's not you. It's something within them. It's something that they lack within themselves. It's something that probably childhood trauma, some issue that they have that they have not succumbed to. Something that they have not analyze and say oh well shit my shit do stink or this issue that I have oh I, I don't know how to talk to women properly oh my mom abandoned me. like all these issues that people try to suppress and not internalize and analyze and be like okay this is my issue and this is why I am the way that I am the minute that you do that there are so much things that will come clear to you and God's truth to yourself that those are the issues that you have you have to fix because if you have these issues and you're doing this to that person and that to that person, you're the fucking problem. You are the problem. You are the issue. You is the answer. You need to be fixed. And the only way you can fix that is within yourself if you're willing to do the work. Now, women, we got to stop thinking, oh, because or no, I'm not just say women. I'm going to just say people in general, because everybody fucking cheats. Man, woman, white, black, Indonesia, everybody fucking cheats. So let's just put that out there. If you are the person who feels like, oh, it's me, something wrong with me. Baby, I'm here to tell you there's nothing wrong with you. There's absolutely nothing wrong with you. OK, some people just don't have the mental capacity to be the person for you some people are just not meant to be for you and you know as people we think that we can change that but in reality you can't change shit you cannot control not a fucking thing but how you move on going forward that's the only thing that you are able to change now another thing with cheating is okay i'm I, i'm not gonna lie we're all guilty because i have called my friends crying being like this <laughs> And I don't even gotta be cheating. It just literally be like, I have to call my friends crying because like, what the fuck are you doing? It don't even gotta be cheating. It could be like this nigga just don't understand common, common sense. But um, if your man is cheating on you, right? He cheated on you, you found out, you told your friends you stayed. He cheated again, you found out, you told your friends you stayed. And it becomes an ongoing cycle, baby. If that man cheat again and you know you're not gonna leave, let that man cheat on your ass in peace. The same quote that Tamar's mother told them. If you ain't finna leave your man, let your man cheat on your ass in peace. Because the moment that you allow that man to know that you know that he's cheating, you become the other woman for real. He's gonna treat you like the other woman. Like, oh, okay, it's fine. She's gonna sit here and, and take all this behavior. Might as well let her do whatever I gotta do. You become the other woman. When you ask, you become the other woman. When you stay, you become the other woman. Now, if you're gonna ask and you're gonna tell that nigga that you know you're gonna put some action behind it and get to step in, don't fucking look back. Or if you plan on looking back, let that man work hard. Let him work real hard. Let that man take two years to get to you. In those two years, you go out on dates, you buy lingerie, you move the fuck out, you stay where you wanna stay. You make those little, little enhancements so that nigga can stay on his tiptoes like, oh shit, she ain't playing. But even if you just do this to do it, sometimes go through with it. The fuck what he gonna do? He done did his dirt. <laughs> you did you did you boo. My turn to do me, honey. What you thought this was? Hello. I am not Rashida. And you are not Kirk. <laughs> so 
yeah so just think about it like that cheating does hurt you'll get past it it is what it is it's, it's the trust that's broken the bond that's broken everything has been thrown out the window but men be cheating through lust because they're fucking retarded women actually i ain't gonna lie when women tend to cheat there is some just lust but there is like um maybe there's something that i want more in a man that my man isn't giving me and it's not his fault it's just something that i want to look for more into or just people just cheat just to cheat people just have issues um it's never you though just remember that it's never fucking you okay you deserve to be with someone who loves you for who you are all right okay now the auntie talk about that yes speak about the power of silence the power of silence is so incredible that you don't even understand and a lot of the times people forget that the power of silence is so severe and damaging that you make someone's ego dry you hurt their pride that's the power of silence the power of silence is because you don't know what's my next move the power of silence is you have no idea of the type of person i can be after this situation the power of silence speaks so high value so loud value that you don't even know sometimes you just gotta shut up you just gotta let the silence speak for itself because when you're silent people don't know what's going on in here when you're silent people don't know what you're gonna do next when you're silent they have they're running around in their mind trying to figure out oh my gosh what is gonna be my next step wait maybe if she does this wait if, I, if she does it, i could do that wait if he does this i could do that wait they're just going around in circles in their head and it's making them crazy because they don't know what you're gonna do that's the power of silence uh, use it to your advantage you can use it every single day you can use it in the workforce you can use it at home you can use it in a relationship relationship the power of silence speaks so loud value and people underestimate it so much because when you're silent you're saying so much more when you're silent you're setting the tone okay when you're quiet they don't know what's going on it's like i could be so quiet you won't even know when i come for you you will be like oh shit you were so quiet i know you came and did that it's like a mind game okay I, I, it can't it can sound like toxic but it really is a mind game because now the person is just they're confused like what the fuck is going on the power of silence is tremendous. People need to start using it more because when you're silent, they never know what's gonna happen next. And that's the best part about being silent. Okay, so use it. You don't gotta just, just especially when you see something going on, like you stay there and you see it and you let it unravel. Let it unravel until you're ready to stick it to them. Okay. I'm so I'm so crazy about I, I like I love to use the power of silence. Let me tell you how crazy I am with the power of silence. I was talking to this guy one time, you feel me? And he did something, but I can see that he did it. He doesn't know that I can see that he did it. So I let two days, three days drag on by. I approach him about it, get what I gotta get, and I get them. That's how you gotta do it. The power of it works so good. It works so good. Cause then they had it like, oh, this bitch really just played me like a nigga. <laughs> and did, and did, and I did. Use the power of silence, y'all. People underestimate it. I'm telling y'all, I cannot stress it enough. It is a beautiful thing. You'll get so much more out of life when you just be quiet. Okay? But don't be too quiet. I don't let people play with you. But you do good enough when you're being quiet and playing mind games. I'm telling y'all now. I'm telling y'all. I be doing it. <laughs> I be doing it. <laughs> okay? <laughs> and I'm good at it, too. <laughs> Woo! But I only do it to people who deserve that type of treatment from me. If you or like sweet to me genuine loving i'm gonna be everything and more to you but if you treat me like a bitch on the street someone you just met last year someone you never knew i will treat you like the scum of the bottom of my shoe <laughs> okay see that's the so next topic the power and the gift of being the one who got away now for women I, oh shit <laughs> sorry let me get comfortable let me get real comfortable for women like we tend to feel like you know you invested so much in a person you done did this you done did that and you know it really do be like shit i done put so much into this man like you feel like you angela like you know marcus like you know you feel like you angela like you put all this into this work into the man you feel like another woman get it it's like no but 
the gift and being the one who got away is so much more like sustainable and pure and it's just something that's within self that you can obtain once you realize and analyze that you have so much more to give you have so much more you know who you are so when you know who you are and you walk in your truth and you're able to turn your back and walk away baby that's the gift because they'll never get that chance again once an individual and i tend to say women but i feel like men could be like this too i feel like both once we've had enough and we just come to come to the the fact that you're never going to change you're never going to do this you're never going to it's never going to be me it's, you're never going to fix how you want you're never going to become the person that i need you to become because you don't want to be that person and the gift of being the one who got away is that they'll never treat you like that again once you have got into a place where you're just in shambles and you know how that feeling feels you're never going to want to feel that shit again and even when you think when they come back and you think they may have changed their ways they have not changed their way they're just trying to disguise it a little bit more for you not to realize they still are that person so the gift is you never look back and you stay true to yourself you know who you are the gift is they will never have that satisfaction of making you feel so fucking low to the point where you can't fucking breathe the gift is that now that you've learned that lesson you don't even have to repeat it anymore you put the value so fucking high that when the men can't even reach it or the women can't even reach it, you don't even you don't even pick them up. You just be like, like <laughs> no, I've been not ever. I see what this looks like. I don't want it. That's it. That's the power. That's the gift. You never have to go through that shit again. Once you go through it once, you have to be strong enough to know that you don't have to go through it again. You have to know like, okay, I've seen this before. This is that. I don't want it. It's, it's enough. It's, that's it for me. It's not serving. It's not giving. You're nowhere near what I want. You're not this. You're not that. And that's okay. It's just not for me. That's the gift of being the one that got away. And you're never going to want to go back. You're never going to look at them one day and you're gonna see them in the next five years and they're probably fucking washed out by then. And you're just gonna look at them and be like, wow, I was into you, could never be. And you're just gonna walk away. That's it, I'm telling y'all now, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. It's a magnificent thing, okay? It's the vocabulary, magnificent, beautiful, wonderful. What's another word I could use for this? I, I have been doing some vocabulary searching. What's a good word? Extraordinary. It is so much better than what you think it is, okay? Just keep true to yourself and be cautious of the people that you let into your space and your environment, okay? All right? All right, and another thing between being a gift that got away in silence, it drives men's egos crazy because they know they're never gonna get a chance to get back with you, okay? All right, so let's get into the You Ask and I Spill segment where you guys send me questions and I answer them. Do, 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 do. How do you move on after cheating? Or how do you rebuild trust? <laughs> mm. I ain't gonna lie, I'm the wrong person to ask because honestly, once you've messed up, I don't trust you again. Like, you have to really show me that I'm capable to trust you and feel safe and secure because not only is it the fact that the trust of me trusting you going outside and being around different people as far as other women and, and fighting the temptation, stuff like that, is more so of a fact that cheating can go along of, you know, a physical form that makes me lack trust in you now. Because now I physically can't trust you with my body. So that's one. Two, the aspect of flirting. And, and you know, it could be more of a... Um, there's another word for it. There's physical cheating. Emotional cheating. It could be more of an emotional cheating. Now my emotions, I can't trust you with my emotions because you already 
you already passed that like you you went physical then emo you went emotionally then you went physical the emotional led to the physical part so now me is like i don't know what to do like how am i gonna build this trust with you again and like you know it sucks to say i want to go through your phone because like you don't want to do stuff like that to be in a relationship with someone but in that aspect of cheating i feel like that's one form that you have to succumb to if you're willing to do the work with your partner like if you knew that you were the one who cheated and you were the one who messed up when she asks you certain questions or if he asks you certain questions like where you going you need to be okay with answering i'm going here and that what time you gonna be back certain boundaries that have been broken Broken, that has to be set up again but me personally i don't know if i could get i mean the cheating part and eh, you could probably get past I, it, I i don't know i haven't been in a predicament to to know that to really actually sit here and be like yeah i trust him again because i feel like that trust that level of trust is so hard to get back once you've broken it you know so yeah but i can say like you know it's it's you gotta do the work like you're gonna have to forgive them for cheating but also they're gonna have to be okay with you having thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of questions back to back each time because one day you'll be okay y'all good then you just be like oh fuck i remember that and you go to ask a question so it's a matter of if both are willing to do the work and half of the times when you're the cheater you don't have a say because you the one who messed up so why do you think that you get to contradict or you think that you could lay out rules and regulations for them to follow when you're the one who led to this point so that right there is is a lot to think about and encounter with and talk about too but it's a matter if both are willing to do the work like if you think that he it was a one-time thing and he'll not do it again but if it's repetitive baby it's not it's, it, it was never you it was never you if it's repetitive he's just hit his point where he just wants to be a hoe and cannot tell you because he wants to have his cake and eat it too and vice versa for women as well Okay, the next question that I have is, um, how do you feel about the coming to you as a woman aspect? So, I feel like the coming to you as a woman aspect has a negative side and a positive side. Now, the positive being, you have women who genuinely want to know what's going on. Like, I saw your number in my man's phone. It's been out of kissy face and stuff like that. Can you please inform me what's going on? And then you have women who reciprocate the same energy. Be like, yeah, girl, I didn't even know he had a girlfriend or he had a wife and kids. This man, da, 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 and you tell them the information. But then you got women who are genuinely wanting to know what's going on with their man, who inbox a chick who's nothing like them. You got the chick like, yes, bitch, I've been fucking your dad. What fuck is you calling to me for about your baby dad? Da, 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 da. You got chicks like that. You got to know which one you're talking to. But then you have chicks who are rah, rah, rah crazy and who will inbox a chick who's mad, calm, and cool and collective and will actually give you the information and be on some shit like, I know you fucking him. You fucking 30 bitch. Da, 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 da you got different women who do things different ways me personally i'm not coming to no girl as a woman if i find out the dude i mess with got a girlfriend and once i find out he got a girlfriend block delete next caller i'm not doing none of that because what is not no it's not needed you don't even gotta know who i am <laughs> i ain't that important not needed and that's even if we was on an intimate level or anything else other than that it's still not needed because girl i'm about to cause you this heartache and give you all this information because one it's not even that deep no more I, I, once I find out it's, it's cool move on next caller that's it now it's different if you inbox me and you want to know information I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna be up front I'm not gonna be on no rah-rah shit but it depends on how you approach me if you approach me with some rah-rah shit bitch I'll leave that shit on scene if you approach me with some calm cool collective like you generally want to know so you can figure out stuff and what you're gonna do next boom I'll tell you and whatever you do with the information go for it it's between you and him I don't care what anyone else but yeah it has this positive and negative connotation behind it so it's up to you and you gotta know which type of chick you're dealing with because you got bitches who go to war guns and glocks knives do -do -do about a man you got women who are so so weak in the knees that want to keep a man no so it depends on which aspect you got i ain't got time for it don't don't do that if you're gonna talk to me talk to me like a woman do not talk to me like i'm some bitch on the street even though you barely know me all right guys that is all for today thank you so much for watching the video hope you guys enjoy it and i'll see you guys in my next one i love you guys bye